Who are we talking to then? We are talking to each other. Who's the host? <laughs> Me. Yeah, Mark. Mark's not the host. Alright, All right, so let's host it up. Alright, welcome to the Lake Damage Show. Sam's out, I'm in. New question. Alright, what is it, host? Redo of one match. Not the question anymore. New question. How big do you think John's dick is? You know what? Because he hypes it up a lot. But I don't I'm going to say it's not huge, but I'm going to say it's deceptively larger than you think. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. Like, I don't think, like, I saw the outline of it once. And okay. Yeah, and I was like, that's not bad. But the thing is, I don't think he can get it hard anymore to show us. I think it just kind of hangs at half mass all the time. Maybe, I mean. So when he comes back, why the ladies really answer his answer this question? I don't know. And, like, I think if he actually got a girl to the house, he wouldn't be able to do anything. But, yeah, I don't know. So I guess that's with? the match I would do. Yeah. What's that? Uh, me and Rad both agreed that we would redo our hardcore match because we didn't have any time to plan or anything like that. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, so what, was the, what was the issue with the planning? We just didn't have time. We were on the show, and Chris worked, so he wasn't going to help. <coughs> so it was just us trying to run the show and plan. plan. Same time. So instead, we just kind of went out and did things. Yeah. It still looked cool. That was awkward. The finish was weird. What was the finish? I was supposed to biohazard him through the table, but yeah. the table, like, it was too work. close. Yeah. So I instead, because it was off the second rope. So instead, I just took it off the second rope and missed the table. Which is still cool, but it was supposed to be through a table. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's Doritos and Arrow. <laughs> put the, uh, put the Doritos right back here. So we have to uh, access the Right, you know, three hours just off. So, yeah, so we've discussed um, <coughs> the idea of the match you could redo over. What was the match that you think perfect? In your book, the match couldn't have gone any better. My match with Patrick Wilson. Your match, yeah, from why? the game, too. Why? Uh, back then, I didn't do what I do now, what everyone does, is you walk up and you just talk to them and be like, this is what I want to do today, blah, blah. And we'll just kind of figure out the rest as we go, kind of thing. Because I'm really big on doing like some on the fly stuff especially at the beginning of my matches now mm -hmm. back then I was so nervous and it was my first Northeast show and everything and I genuinely wasn't that good so I wrote down everything I typed it down I printed out the paper and I was like this is what we're going to do and I gave it to him like a month beforehand and I was like let's memorize it all and we literally memorized the entire whatever it was, 15 minute, 20 minute match, down to a T. Wow. Every single little thing. And uh, we didn't go off the script, we didn't do anything extra, but we did exactly what we wanted to do. Oh. And it was like, as far as doing what we set out to do, it could not have been more on the, on the nose. Now, could it have been a better match? I don't know. But at that time, I don't think I could have done a better match at that time. Mark? Match, I like that, I wouldn't change. Uh, probably my match with KKK. Really? Just because, like, the crowd was hot enough that I wouldn't want to change anything. You wouldn't have changed that cup on the spot. Uh, like, I would tell, I would still do it, but I would never do it again now. I wouldn't go through it twice. Like, if it was just me going back in time and doing it for the first time, that'd be okay. But I wouldn't take it twice. Would you say that's the most pain you've been in? No, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt? No, not at all. It was just really dumb. It could have hurt. So it didn't hurt you at all? Not at all, actually, no. I was fine. I didn't black out or anything like that. I thought it was going to hurt a lot more than it did. I don't think I've ever gotten hit in the head where it actually like hurt me. Not once. Where it was bad enough that I was like, oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. I almost spilled something. I don't know. I don't know why. My head's... Like, it's not just... It's not a gimmick. My head's actually really hard. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, I do know. Head pretty hard. You, gave me a head, you gave me a headache so hard, a, such a bad headache that on day one of PKM last year I had to go to bed at about eight o'clock. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I yeah, just couldn't watch it. Yeah, I was in bed. I was in bed too. But you were really drunk. I always just had such a bad headache I couldn't actually open my eyes. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Man, it's I accidentally like split rat open once. It was cool though. It was. It I, I genuinely think if I ever get hit in the head, it, I'll just start bleeding from that cut. What cut? 
Uh, TJ Blade threw a chair at me yeah. at WrestleFest and it cut me open. Oh, okay. And never since the second then, eye. Yeah. I, I, I wrestled on the second eye. I wrestled uh, BRB for the world title. Did yeah, you blade you got, again? You got bloody yes, again. Because I, I headbutted him. And I originally, he was really nervous and stuff. And I said, don't worry, I'll put my hand up and just headbutt it. And he goes, okay, we'll do that. I put my hand up and like an idiot. I just headbutt him anyway. And I started bleeding. So I have this really cool image of me putting the sharpshooter on. And my face is bleeding. I'm just screaming at the camera. Big thanks to Don for grabbing the camera, running around, and filming that. Oh, wow. But, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. It, yeah, it was like a really cool image. Yeah. And even though it was on like a crappy camera, it was my camera, but it was a crappy camera. I, it's still really awesome to kind of see that, you know, once a, once a year when I look at it. So, in retrospect, I should have wrestled day one, though. Is there any matches that you rewatch just for the for the sake of, you know, what this match is actually ridiculous? Like, of your old match? Of me like, personally? Yeah. I, I watch our match a lot, that first one. Really? What is that? I liked it a lot. It's like probably my best match. Match because like my other best matches are all like brawling and stuff like that. That one's actually a wrestling match, so it's a little different. Yeah, but no, it's probably one of my favorite matches. I was, yeah. I was about to say, I watch our match a lot too. The MV, you know. Oh, yeah, shitty MV, but no, it doesn't matter. It's still, it still captures everything out of the match. I'll be about so. <sighs> What matches of yours do you still watch? Uh, usually, I don't watch my stuff back, but saying that. Sometimes I'll go back and just watch chaining that I did in the past. Good shot. Yeah, so like, I won't go, oh man, I should like watch some of my matches. That doesn't happen like once once a year, maybe twice a year, I'll just randomly put on like the opening chaining sequence of me and Vengeance and watch like that four minute segment and then just turn it off. Or I'll watch the opening with Johnny Boy or my opening with Kill a K. Just kill a case surprisingly really good chain yeah, yeah and or Keep something like that it was usually just opening sequences like i don't go back and watch you know the pride driver i took or i've seen that a billion times so but would you say the pride driver made you absolutely one if i didn't take the pride driver that night i wouldn't have i wouldn't have had that kind of like notoriety that i got i would have just been another guy on the card that day but you I think, definitely wouldn't have been feuding with Mike up like six months later. That, would you, that would not have happened. But do you think. think then you had that, oh, I have to top this kind of mm -hmm. deal? Yeah. Do you think that, that hinders what you do? Or what you did do at that point in time? And everyone was like, shit, you took Bride Driver. Now he's got to do something equally as insane in that? Like in whatever matches you were doing? Or? No, I feel like taking the Bride Driver kind of established how I can bump. And in that sense, it kind of set. It did set a, a level that I have to keep at. Yeah. But if I go, I, I, if I go under that level, I probably shouldn't do any wrestling anymore. Wow, um, that's how I feel about it. Carry a hard moniker. Right? Well, you see what I do nowadays. I kind of I add chaining into my stuff and little comedy and stuff because I can't just have a bump fest every single week. Yeah, because you. Because back then, you gotta understand, back then, 2011, that year, I wrestled four shows that year. That's yeah. it, just four. And I bumped like a maniac in every single one of them as much as I could. Most people don't remember it, but by 2011, I took a chair shot from Deep Fatal and had a huge you know, oh. bump on It wasn't cut, but I had a huge bump on the back of my head for like two weeks. Wow. Nobody remembers that, but I was so into like how much I need to just die on every match. Nowadays, I do a weekly wrestling so I kind of... Tone it down a little bit, would you say? Oh, I don't tone it down. I build up the anticipation of my big bump. Like... Which, which I think is probably my biggest bump, I think. Yeah. Wait, you know... We go on too early, right? Yeah, like... The matches that I'm in... I don't... But if it's a singles match... I don't really bump early. It's a singles match. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and, like... If you don't think I'm going to shine at the start of my singles match, you're a fucking idiot. I'm going to shine. Even with Mike. Yeah, you made me train. I made him shine. But I liked it, though. Yeah, he chopped it. It was fun. But, like, uh, was fun to with me, I think... You and Chris. Like, what? You and Chris did it, too. Yeah, me and Chris done it for a while. Yeah, that was awesome. 
Oh, no, I always felt the show went on too long with me, Chris. You think so? Yeah. It, sometimes... Probably it, for you, though, because but we don't see that that often. But the thing is, if you see me and Pete day two, uh-huh. fuck love show. Fuck love show. Good. I, 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 I'm putting it down here right now that me and Chris is going to be... The match is going to be hit and miss with some people. I'm going to put it right down. You and Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you said Chris. Oh, sorry, me and Chris, me and Pete, it's going to be a, yeah, it misses I'm going to be marking because you know much I love changing. There, there is some, there's, there's going to be bumps, there's going to be some really cool stuff, but I, I do honestly, believe that we're going to have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
don't even know how to explain it. Indie style? Yeah. And I really don't have that kind of spot, 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 spot kind of style at all. Yeah, no, I can appreciate it. I, I, I think me and Scott work really well. Like, I could, I could work a tag or something and take a sick lariat. But I don't feel like like a one on one something in one on one matches. Yeah, no, no. I see like I, f- I feel like it would be. It wouldn't work to my benefit at all because I don't see me doing a lot of leg work or anything like that. And, it, and he could bump me a couple of cool times, but that's you can only do that so many times. And, and a singles match that goes like fifteen minutes or something. And I don't know. It just comes off as it's like you know two good tastes that just don't work together. Okay. In my opinion. Mike? I haven't think I still can't complain. Like someone that you you know is good? Andy. Um so Nah, I could I had a singles up, match. I'm yeah, I couldn't up, kill man. with Andy at all a single. There's a lot of people I couldn't kill in a singles match, so I can't base it off of that. Um I don't know if I'd uh wanna wrestle I don't know if I could wrestle G Fatal in a singles match. Really? Yeah. I hear he's very, very complicated to plan with if you don't know his stuff that well. And I could not keep up with Glenn. Yeah, I mean, he does have an X Division style. But... Yeah, I couldn't do it. I could do it in a tag match. Come in, get the hot tag, elbow, elbow, elbow. I come do that. <laughs> um, I'm king over that. Hell yeah. Um, nah, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe I could do Glenn. Um, Oh, all right. I never want to wrestle Jay ever again. Ever. I'll beat you? Yeah, because we can't have a serious match together. Yeah, Every time we try, it turns into a fuck-around fest, but not even like, ha-ha-ha, it's, oh, they don't care at all. Oh, wow. Every time. I mean, not like he wrestles anymore, but even if he did, I wouldn't want to. Okay. Okay. So, I, you've got creative freedom, and both of you. Not so much you, he has. <laughs> but uh, you've got creative freedom right now. Okay? You can pick whoever you want to wrestle. And whatever stipulation you want. Who do you wrestle right now? Right at this very moment. I can pick anybody? Anybody you want. I wrestle Chris in a no real barbed wire man. <laughs> That's not being booked already. That would be my answer though. Really? Is that the one match you've been waiting for? Mm-hmm. I mean, wrestling suicide actually is my dream match. But Chris is my uh, favorite person to wrestle at all. So either one of those, honestly, would be my honest answer, and they're both happening. So that's cool. Wow. Okay. Mm. One of your matches, that if you can give you right now, right now, what you do? I never, even, I never think that way. But like special. You put Cry Freddy. You put whoever you want. For like a good show, I guess, like best match kind of thing. Or yeah, if you're you're aiming from the uh, from the board whenever they do their like fucking what is it super the board what the, right you know when you're on the JBYWN and it's got the super of the show it's the got the best the superlatives of the super superlatives shows. Yeah. whatever you want to call you're you're aiming for best match I'm aiming that. for best match whoa okay who would you put? If I'm trying to have the absolute best match possible, I. Hmm. If I was trying to have the absolute best match possible, I'd wrestle the Morris. Because we did have a really good triple threat. That was Murph in it? With Murph in it. Triple threat. Where would Ward try to get at it? Yes. Sorry, what happened? For about an hour that morning, Mur- uh, Warren was going to be in the triple threat match. I was like, I don't care what you guys do. And uh, Murph shut that down real quick. Did he really? Yes. Because Warren had won the title the day before, so we had to open the show with me winning the title back so I could defend it in the main event. Why do you guys even do that? Warren big leaked for it. I didn't really want to. That's awful. Yeah. I know. Okay. In retrospect, I'd never do that again. But I didn't think I was big league enough to do anything about it, so. Okay. But yeah, I wrestled the Morris. 
Who's the most overrated wrestling Oh, fuck. Yo. Most overrated? Overrated, you say the heart. There's a me. heart there? Definitely me. Why? Oh, Mike. Someone overrated. has to think you're good before you're overrated. Ow. Oh, you're right. Uh, <laughs> probably fucking Sam Jude. <laughs> <laughs> I am, yeah. Novelty's off, Sam. It's <laughs> gonna be the running joke. You're the second most British, uh, you the second most <laughs> important British wrestler in the country right now. <coughs> oh, really? Who's the first? <laughs> Probably Tommy End. He's still in America right now. <laughs> oh, he's not British. I thought he was. Tommy End's not British. He told me he was earlier. No, he's German. I'm so sorry. Ignorant <laughs> American. No, no he's English. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I don't actually know. Huh? I don't even know. Oh, I don't know if he's English or uh, German. He's English. I don't think he is. It's WXW. He doesn't wrestle on any other English fed but WXW, which no. is German. Hmm. I know he's wrestled in England, but I don't think he's wrestled as part of an English company before. So I think he's German. So yeah, fuck you. <laughs> That was your answer. What was your answer? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Most overrated wrestler in America. America. But like, yeah, yarding America. wise. Even indie wise, I don't care. Indie wise? Even indie wise. I don't watch too much indie, so I can Well, I'm going yarding. Yeah. And I'm going to say. Um, I don't have an answer. Everyone's right where they belong. Everyone's right where they belong. You're all good. You're right where you are. Where you are is correct. Tech. But he's only overrated his own mind. That? Tech, you going to take that answer? Yeah. I don't want to take There's that There's some people that still think Tech is awesome. Really? I'm sure there are. <laughs> being, over, being overrated sure doesn't mean are. they're bad. I'm not saying he's bad, he's just not as good as he pretends to be. No, 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 what I'm saying is... Oh, people that, people that, they oh, think, they right. think they're good. They're bad. They it think they're bad. They think they're... not even that they think... They get put where they don't belong? Yeah. Where they don't belong, really. Yeah. You're like, I've seen a couple of matches with this dude in it. Why is he in it? I yeah, I can think of underrated people. I can't think of overrated people. Of course, any other would suck to bury somebody. I can't think of anybody to bury. Them. So there's no one you guys would think, shit, he's in a lot of good matches, but I don't think he's great. Uh, it's rough. Because it was pretty much in check. Oh, Bless got some matches he didn't deserve. Hmm. Bless wrestled Andy and Arbo. What the fuck, really? Yeah. Right. Like three years ago. Really? And he wrestled Suicide. Oh, wow. Killer K! He, his who <laughs> I wrestled Bliss? And he wrestled Jay Crypter. Yeah, Killer wrestled Crypter? Kale. Ace Jack, Chris Frank, somebody else in one match. I got one. Killer Russell, yeah. Who you got? Brandon the Bull. I feel like he's I like overrated. I like Brandon right now though. I think he's he just, had, just he, watching him. He's plan, tough enough. Just watching him plan. That so, hard. Like maybe on camera he's fine but to me like just watching the whole process of him he's a mess really mm. that's how I am about it but Matt Hardy thinks Brandon the Bull's tough enough yeah he does Matt Hardy is in the Brandon he's Bull. version 1.0 he can slap a tornado Ryan Reynolds see. likes Robbie Roberts so and he does go. that's pretty awesome he's like, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds is a lot more important than Matt fucking Matt freaking Hardy that's what I'm talking about 
So Robbie wins the Twitter war there. I don't have anybody else. So you think less? Yeah, not even to so a, to, to, a, to a degree. Not that he's overrated, just that he got some imagining for all like that. He only got for So that, that's, that's the definition of overrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you think random, tough enough ball. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like Brand- freaking Hardy. I just feel like Brandon. Uh, a lot of people think Brandon's like improved a whole ton, and I think he's improved some. Some. So but that's what I mean. But he wears a mask. He's also he extreme. needs he needs he's, to wear a mask. He needs to wear a mask. He's, he's, like, he's still very young, but people. How old is Brandon now? Eighteen. Oh yeah, he's like eighteen. He's been doing this for six years, something like that. Oh, so wow. He's gonna get better. So he'll get. Like the way people think of him, now, he'll is, probably be there two, three years. My prediction is Brad is gonna be the best out of three. Out of what? Oh, oh the three oh, halls. Yeah. He's probably the only one that's gonna go like yeah. anywhere. Go Which team. I don't think they would care. Well, hey, Travis rests the sky too hot, though. That is true. That so, is the definition of me. sky too hot. unofficial EWA heavyweight champion. He right gave now. him the worm. Did it, did he take the worm? He took the worm and beat him with the worm. I saw the footage, so I know. It's awesome. Big oh. pop. Big pop. Goddamn right. It's a worm. So there you go. Damn right. This guy too hot. He's former light heavyweight champion. Okay. Philly lost. If. Did they? Yeah. Or no, there's a guest. Cardinals. Cardinals. They're awful. Mm-hmm. Is, that, yeah, the, is that the uh, Phillies or the Eagles? Phillies. Eagles. Eagles. It's not Eagles time. Now, the Eagles would have just lost the game. I'd be a lot more angry. Oh. The Phillies are garbage. I didn't give a fuck anymore. Um, well, okay. You're both bookers. Yes, we are. In your own right. You know, you book. I mean, I do what I do. Yeah, no, you do what you do. Too. Yeah, yeah, and you, you, you I book do, EWI. I do Mike stuff. You do Mike stuff and you book EWI. Mike, Mike gets that music going. I do get the music going. That's something I've always had a problem with. Pick one promotion that you could run. Mm-hmm. That's not yours. But yard that I can run. Uh, yeah. Oh, give me the new era roster and let me do stuff with them. Yeah. New era? Yeah. Both pick new era. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. It's basically just the new same. Era is it's everyone I like in one spot and the best wrestlers. Puck stuff is not there. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, but you don't puck stuff. I do not like puck stuff. Or... How much do you not like puck stuff? He's awful. I don't know what the heat is. I don't He's even just know who he awful. Is. He's terrible. Was he in Miami? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for day one. I don't even know who the fuck he is. I don't even think he wrestled, did he? Uh, he wrestled? Yeah, he wrestled. But he wrestled? On day zero, he wrestled. Okay, that's what it is. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember on day one. No, I think. I don't even know if he stayed. I think that I'm going to give him the boot. He definitely wrestled on day zero. Though. I was supposed to wrestle on day zero. Puck Stuff used to message me at like midnight, which had to be 3 a.m. here in the Northeast Coast yeah. of Vegas. Just leaving like. Five minute messages about how he's gonna wrestle me for the title. <laughs> and I'm like, what? We're not. I'm in another part of the country. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? Who the fuck knows? But who cares? It was fun, I guess. Who's the most underrated wrestler you've ever seen? Um. Both underrated wrestlers. Um. For a while it was, um, nah, maybe not. I gotta really think about this. I still think Drew Genocide's heavy. Yeah, heavy. yeah. Like, he's got no like, he's good as title up. reign, he's got no major storyline for a while. But yeah. he's awesome. But he's, like, extremely entertaining. He's yeah. got his moveset. Everyone knows what he does. He's got a killer, you know, double underhook driver. Did, he did the teaming thing with Jay, which is still kind of a special occasion thing. It's cool. So, what you know? Why he hasn't had a main oh, oh. run with something? I'm surprised. I've even got an Some, sometimes I. I don't want to say it, but I feel like sometimes I think Chris is a little underrated. Yeah, that's my answer. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, like I feel like everyone knows he's consistent, he's but like I don't the think. Of yeah. Like yeah, he's the goat. I never thought that. Like, even when he went to 3BW, everyone treated him like he was, like, the next best thing, true. you know? First one's big 3BW? Yeah, me he and him. He went to 3BW, and they treat him like a god there. Me and him. I feel like that's how everyone thinks of him. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I listen to him talk too much. He, he he doesn't feel important sometimes, I think. Even though I tell him he is. 
so, sometimes he doubts himself. Like, I'd be like, yo, Chris, why don't you wrestle this person? And he's like, nah, somebody else yeah. should get that. Well, yeah, he does like, that, yeah. And I get mad as but fuck. But I think that's just being a responsible booker. Rob, that's man. true. But I mean, like, when Chris had his feud with you, main events and stuff, you guys feud for the title, people ate that up. That's true. Like, Not, I've never, I've never heard things. anybody say, oh, you know, Chris shouldn't have been in that match, or Chris shouldn't have won that Chris title, or Chris shouldn't be in that storyline. That's true. People love him. That's true. So I don't, I don't think that at all. Chris. I think maybe, maybe, you know, Chris does doubt himself a lot, but I think mm-hmm. and I go to a lot of different feds, and everything is always like, Chris is like, he's kind of a myth <laughs> to some people, but really? he's always like the oh, really, really cool, anywhere. yeah, so he's always like that, like really cool, like man, you know, it'd be a dream match if Chris was like that, like that I want to get, I want to get him a travel. He's one. the dream match guy. Yeah, yeah. That's For other definitely places. It. Yeah. Um, yeah, did I ever show you his match with Wesker? No. <laughs> Chris, the one day Chris was like, yo, you're trying to go to, go to New Jersey? I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, let's go to New Jersey. I'm going to wrestle Joshua Wesker. I'm like, all right, let's do that. And then he proceeds out with this insane brawl with Wesker. Like, yeah. yeah. Spot that comes to mind, Wesker's standing on the ground, but he has a chair. Chris moonsaults, and why Chris is in midair moonsaulting, Frozen, he throws the chair, chair out of him. Yeah, yeah Chris took him off. Almost nuts, didn't it? Very close. He sold his nuts. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, no, Chris Urban for me is, uh, I think because I've now wrestled him, he's one of the best guys I've ever wrestled in my life. Straight up, sir. Chris is just unbelievable sometimes. He can, he can tech, he can bump, he can strike. There's nothing that bloke can't do. Please tell me something he can't do. Yeah, wake up on time to go run errands. <laughs> <laughs> Straight shooting person. You can get him back in your match. Don't worry. Oh, right. I'm gonna fuck him up. He's a bitch digger. <laughs> a bitch. What? I need oh, you very good. Ah, no, 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 no. Chris Blaze just asked me if there's an event page for Saturday. I don't Chris know why. Price. I don't know why he needs to ask. Ain't like he's getting booked. Okay. Uh, I don't man. care for him. Look him against me. I know. No, we're not. I know he used to have a bad anymore. rap, so I don't blame him. Oh, he kicked him Rush in the face at 3 What did he do? He split his fucking nose off. What did he do? He kicked Bay in the face. He kicked Bay in the face? When was that? Like two weeks ago. He kicked Bay in the face? I'll fucking murder that kid. There you go. Put him in the ring with me. I'll tear his ass on a new one. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I'll cement mix of that man until he suffocates. Yo, how about that, right? The swirl. It's crazy. It's crazy. He said that before. And, like, I thought it was just some random bullshit he said once. Turns out that's a real thought that lives up there permanently. Yeah. Oh, there's my letter. <laughs> He's been there for years. Yeah, he's, like, uh, that kind of blew my mind. Like, I thought that was, like, a once-and-done thing. Like, oh, yeah, the swirl. Uh-oh. What down? What down? He was like, but to hear him bring it back up, that was... That, that, I remember he told me that, like, the first week I was here yeah. back in 2013. God that, damn. That was an experience for everybody involved. Yeah. That's what I live with. That's all the time. John Keller experience. That is all, dude. That's all the time. That never stops. It is not stop. Hey, it's just a crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube from a gang called what something. What gang? Something that chick. What is it? National Wrestling Alliance. Love you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Niggas with attitude. I'm gonna call off. Red black a little bit. You right there. That house. You're a face of shit. And they're not just black. They're like African. African. <laughs> that kind. Ooh. <laughs> now that I think about it, take that back. The, the what? No. No, no, you just said something. I said go. They're, they're African. Yeah, like what? <laughs> <laughs> they're African. <laughs> We gotta put a whistle in there. Alright, that's enough. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> it's just a king's bit in. He fucked everything up. Is the king more impossible than Chinese one? No, he prefers black women. Actually, no, not joking either. Oh, yeah. He, 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 he prefers large black women at that. Like, BBW's like. It, I'm not making this up. He, he has a serious crush on Awesome Kong. 
I'm not making that up either. That's a hundred percent. I swear on my. I want him uh, to. I swear on my life. I want her to implant us to me. Yeah, yeah. I swear on my life. Like he's into awesome calm. Sure. Yeah. He's he's crazy, man. He's absolutely like he's wild. You know, he just watches. Since, and, since you knew him, has he always been that crazy? Or do you think he gets crazy? One, since I've lived here, he's turned it up and out. Everyone agrees. Yeah. He uh. He used to watch animal porn. And not even yeah. in a weird way either. But it's not like he's sitting like, oh yeah. He just be chilling there. Yeah, I would see I would I lived in the room next to him, right? So I would be lying down on the couch or whatever and I just hear like weird animal noises and shit. And I'd look out and he's just like sitting in his chair and it's no he's just watching animal and he's just like <laughs> Well, like, wait but then, kid. but then, then they would be going right, and then it's like something real, like it hit really hard, and he go, <laughs> and then just back to, yeah, and it's like, like it's like he's just like watching a, a caddy shack or something. He just laughs right. Uh, no, like, oh, are we talking? He watches like a woman getting fucked by a horse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, are we talking that? Yeah. Fucking hell. And he just thinks it's hilarious that somebody did that. Yeah, he's really into it. And then he just be like, oh, time to go to bed. Yeah, he's going to bed. You know, you know what happened the other day? He goes to me, he goes, Mike, can you help me with something on my computer? There's a, there's a pic, there's something I click, and when I click it, a, a, a pussy comes up. <laughs> and what it was, was he accidentally bookmarked something and put up a little, like, toolbar thing for it. Oh, okay. But it wasn't just a picture of a pussy. It was a double penetration compilation <laughs> on uh, xvideos.com. Oh, no. Yeah. By the way, this video is sponsored by xvideos.com. That, but that is my point. My my, my point. My porn set of <coughs> choice. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Look, you're so I'm, I'm a porn yeah. up, man. Nah, I'm not about porn yeah. up. Look, you go on my phone. Right. Okay. You go on my Safari. Safari. Oh, that's not what I want. No, no. Facebook. We close that out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My recently visited. There it is. X videos hanging out right, right there. Right, you got Zandig. Zandig fans, crack.com and Facebook. What's crack.com? Like little countdown articles, like the top five, uh, uh, I don't know, shit like that. Almost like a funny BuzzFeed. Oh, I haven't been on Pona in a while. Because I'm over here. I cranked it while you were in New Jersey yesterday. How's that make you feel? Well, I didn't know when I was in the room. So you think. <laughs> you sleep so peacefully. So. <laughs> yeah, huh? For the first time. And you were like, no, go away. No, 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 no. Put it away. Put it away. <laughs> Put it away. No, no, I, I don't want my beer. I, I refuse to. Really? Yeah, I don't do it. I couldn't go that long. No, neither could I, but I have to. Ah, why? Why don't you just jerk off my toilet? That's what I used to do. Chris used to fuck him all the time. For the first, like, three months that he lived in the house, he'd be like, so have you jerked off my house yet? Like, no. How do you answer that question? Just say no. But you're really doing it. You're really going at it. If someone went three boats without getting the nut off. What? If someone went that long, they'd be having like, wet dreams and shit. Yeah, or they'd right. be depressed. <coughs> <coughs> Is yeah, that right a right thing right. that happens? Yeah. Have you, has anyone here ever had a wet dream? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Oh, After being in the hospital. I've never had a wet dream. It's awful. You wake up, semen all over you? Yeah. Like, like, it sucks, too. I feel like I've had close encounters afterwards, but my body now is mature enough to say, hey, don't come, this is a dream. Like, I, like, the wet dream, like, a wet dream, it seems awesome. It feels real, then, because you're fucking someone, probably. Yeah, it could be something probably. weird. Shake and you beard. come, and you're like, oh, my God, this is awesome. I just say, oh, shit. And then you wake up, and you're like, fuck, I'm covered in semen. <laughs> but now, when you get, once you get more mature, if you're someone that gets wet dreams, you just keep getting them. But eventually, like now, if I have a wet dream, every it, it all happens the same minus the cum part. So like I still get the feeling like I just nutted mm-hmm. in my dream, Which but I didn't true. actually come all over myself. My body's mature enough to be like, yo, do not. I want to take an audio sound bite of him. him you could put. You could use that for the podcast. Use this podcast. You could do that. <laughs> Some wisdom from me. I've never had a wet dream ever. It's not that good, but it's kind of awesome. And it's not as good as the real thing. It could be better. Because you wake up and she's gone. <laughs> Serious. Fuck that. It's better when they leave quick. 
what, what, what are we into? Like, what do you mean? Like, porn wise? Yeah, porn wise. What Amateur. Oh, you're a you're fake taxi fan? Uh, I like fake taxi. I like the I like the one in the uh, it is yeah I like the uh, I like I'm the one I like the one in the uh, pawn shop. Has anyone seen this? Oh shit! I yes, I have. That a lot. I really like that one. Oh, I have seen that. Uh, I I like the casting couches. Those are pretty funny. Cow- casting couches don't do it for me because they're too funny. Yeah. Like if porn's funny, I'm not watching it to. Uh. To yeah, I'm, I'm watching it because I love. It. I don't like the cliche looking porn stars. Like I'll never watch like a bleach blonde, fake tits porn star. What if she got black hair? Like Rachel Star or something like that. I like Rachel Star. Uh, you know you know who's overrated? Mia Khalifa. I've never watched Mia Khalifa. Uh she doesn't do it for me. Lisa Ann doesn't do it for me. Never I have watched Lisa Ann um, this morning, but no. I prefer uh I'm an ass man, so you know. So I'm what? I'm, I'm pretty strict when it comes to that. Tim Rush does it for me every day. <laughs> we know that. He gives that, you the rush? No, I like... What a rush. What a rush. <laughs> I, like, I, I prefer... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of poems. Of rat. Oh, you know what? This is going to be weird. <laughs> I used to... <laughs> I used to be have a serious uh, dick to pussy ratio. Like it needed to be more the pussy favor. Now it is swung in the complete opposite to where there could be eight dicks. You like the khaki and shots? Like that? I've gotten off to that. I've never. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking like Like, I don't know, maybe that. eight is too much. But, like, <laughs> seven, four or five. I've never. Oh, she get it, like, oh. Like, uh, 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 uh. I'm cool with that. No, I'm not cool with that. I like it, actually. I don't want to see loads of dicks in my life. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm, I'm so into it. i like, popular belief. I don't like it. I don't want to sit there and see loads of dicks. You know what's an instant turn off, Sam? I would be really sorry to say this. What? If I click a porn and it's an uncircumcised dick, I have to turn it off. It makes me gross. Gag. Did you have a circumcised dick? And goddamn right I do. Did you have a circumcised dick? Right. Oh, no. you fucking weirdos with your ugly dicks. You suddenly call something, man. That's fucking disgusting to me. I want that hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm... Um, I, I, you know, I just don't see the interest in it. I ain't licking somewhere. I ain't licking a shell. <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with licking the oh, asshole. Oh, Freddy, finger my shitter. No, I don't get near that shit. Oh, I'm not. Right? I tried to finger this girl's asshole yeah, the other day. Did you? Yeah. Just thought? She wasn't into it, so I just kind of tickled with my pinky. <laughs> like, <coughs> like, I'm in this position here, and I came with the pinky on the, on the tail end. <laughs> yeah, I hope you made that sound. I good. actually did. Good. <laughs> he thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> I think I might get a laughter and sex. That's a pretty good achievement. Or a <laughs> really bad achievement. <laughs> yeah. You whop out your dick. You're like, what chow? And then, what chow? What chow? And she starts laughing. You're fucked. Or, you, or you're gonna get fucked. <laughs> like, this yeah. is a really bad thing. If she laughs in a good way, kind of like an <coughs> evil villain laugh. <laughs> Oh God. She wants that dick. She if she kind of laughs like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> it means she doesn't want the dick. She means the. It means the. You know, it's, it's a terrible time for her. That's what it means. It's the by. It is. That, that's that's probably my most important moment in my life. I just don't want to go to laugh in my dick. They ain't gonna. But if they did, I'd punch them in the face. <laughs> That's I'd, fair. Yeah. I'd push him out of a car. I'd Jimmy Snooker. That's a lot of, that's that a lot happened of, in this town. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yeah. why I wear that when I come here. Good. I'd Jimmy Snooker the bitch. Very good. Glad you did that. But yeah, damn, what's your pawn of choice? If you have like a certain pawn that gets you going. That's the thing, I don't. Like, I, I, I definitely... I can tell you what I'm not into. What are you not into? I don't, I, I don't dig stuff that looks pl- like planned, like too stagey. You know what I mean? You, you know what? I, I'm, I'm I really, like, even the stuff, like, in vans and stuff, like, like it just seems so... You don't like fake taxi. Actors. You don't, even, you don't like fake taxi. You know what I don't like a lot? Yeah. I don't like actor stuff. I don't like, um... I need there to be some type of story. I need to know why be- they're fucking... I can't handle just, I'm a girl. Here I am. <laughs> I'm a dude, and I got a moose cock. Oh, shit, we're in the same room. 
plow, plow, plow. Yeah, no, I can really agree with you. Ooh, I need some sort of build up. Yeah, like, yeah. like, oh, I'm watching you play basketball, Darnell. Let's go back. <laughs> let's go back to my apartment. Now I at least now I at least that's, know why they're in the same still, room. That that kills it. For, it's so dumb. I like no, it's it. Not so dumb. not realistic. No, it's not dumb. It's, it's like wrestling. Is, yeah, no, exactly. Wrestling's dumb too. Yeah, well, you're fucking dumb, aren't you? <laughs> No, I'm not that. I also I'm not into like three ways and stuff like that. Three ways, either, either way, two, either no, way. Two, no, I can do two I'm girls. Selfish, one man, so why would I no, watch I videos? I was supposed to have a three way. Where? Yeah. I was Nothing. I was uh, there for the debate. A- another this, one. Oh, another one. This one it was two girls. Oh, okay. Why didn't you have to go for that one? It didn't work out. Oh, oh my God. AK, they said no. No, they were into it. It was their idea. I was just a volunteer. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not into I'm not into uh, like khaki and stuff like that, like dogging. Ooh, like, you know what I really like? Uh, I don't even want to say it anymore. Yeah, go on. You, you get really fucking, excited about it. Cum swapping's pretty dope. Oh, I like that when like the guy jizzes in the girl's mouth and like she makes out with the other girl and then goes. I've been into that lately. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard. I didn't want to say it. It's like baby. Or something. Ah, just a bit of my love for oh. cum. Yeah, it's oh. awesome. It's just a girl underneath this. And then she goes, It's awesome. Uh, whoopsies. Just excuse me for a living. <laughs> hey, they film it for somebody. Well, they film it for this fucking guy. Yeah. yeah. I don't need no baby burden no matter what they're doing. No, they're doing. Yeah, you guys are missing out. That's fucked up. I don't think I could watch it again. It's not sanitary. No, what? How? <laughs> no, no. I just couldn't watch it. I'm not saying it's, it's awesome. not sanitary. I'm just saying it's regurgitation. It's not, it's not re- no, because they don't swallow it and then throw it up. Yeah, but it's still. The but same it's still idea. in the fucking mouth. Who, who, who are you texting? Some girl. What girl? This girl that I used to fuck with. Is it that girl? No, uh, no. That's that some motherfucker man. <laughs> I'm gonna ring, tell him what we're doing. And we'll be like, no, this is a show. Or well, Sam G's for Tea Party, depending on what you want to call it. And no, I'm not happy with this. But yeah, I'm. Um, we should have a few callers next year. Then we should die. <laughs> well, I, I'm pumped for it. She's asleep. Fucking. Give her the old She has school tomorrow. I'll Sam. give her the old wake Sam, and she poke. Sam, she has school tomorrow. I don't care, I'll give her the old wake and poke. Wake and poke. Like, where well, is the big <laughs> show? That's probably the funniest experience I've ever had in my life. Yeah, Chris is funny when he's fucked up. Yeah, Chris was very, uh, very intoxicated. And, uh, we tried to. You were there. <coughs> Dan was Which there. Was that when Dan was living with you? Yeah. yeah. One where he was sitting in the corner over here? Yeah, and he was big showing over the thing. Yeah, and, yeah, and he yeah. was like, I'd, I'm not big showing over the ropes because you're all gonna, you're you gonna make, laugh at me. you're all gonna laugh at me. And then, he was really worried about like being embarrassed or something. And then, and then he went to us downstairs while we're playing poker. Yeah. He goes to us, I'm gonna go upstairs and get playing the old waking poker. <laughs> and he goes up there and all you hear is like muffled voices. Then he comes back. And he comes back down. Didn't go the way he planned. <laughs> he he expected a real waking poker. It didn't happen. He didn't get no, he didn't no wake and poke. You ever wake some poke someone? Yeah, some, tons of times, yeah. Oh, wake and poke some. How did you do that? This is what all the viewers. <laughs> no, I forgot don't. this was a show, to be honest. No, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Sam, you, t is going to be a mess. Um, yeah, how did you ever wake and poke? Well, I had a girl that was like into that kind of like, stuff. Like, fuck so. me while I'm sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> she slept naked, so. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, you, you're still both into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to fucking leave right now because that's rape. No, it's not. No, because I would never actually fuck her while she's asleep. I just warm up the kitchen while she's asleep. Warm the oven. Now, my, my girl woke up immediately, so... Like, I give her, like... Yeah, the but that's old... still weird, No, 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 no. Like, like, she like, loved it. Like, Sam, hear me out. We're like, I'm the big spoon. I give her the old hand on the thigh. The old little tickle with the finger. Not like in a cooter. But, you know, <laughs> let her... <laughs> just, a, just enough to, like, you know, startle her. And then, she, then you know... Boom, 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 boom. No, I've never had a girl been into that. Yeah. Because they would legit yeah. call me a rapist. Yeah, she's, okay, she's what are you doing? I haven't slept in sex. She's a little crazy. She lives in that kind of stuff. Yeah, the more violent, awesome. the better. Yeah, Do you ever look her awesome? No. 
No? It's not violent, though. Do you didn't What's tickle it? it with your beard? I, to Dan, uh, I just got my beard, so... So you didn't no. lick her asshole? You never licked her asshole? I didn't... No. Do you lick her asshole or no? No. I established, no. Have Why you not? ever licked her asshole? No. Would you? Have you ever had your asshole licked? Ooh. No. No? I have a girl that's offering to lick my asshole. I'm going for it. Really? Yeah. Never had it before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I've had your also licked. Yeah. You've licked also. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Right, right. Okay. Then. Give me a Absolutely. Num- give me a number of how many also you've licked. I think it's enough. The viewers. The people need to know. The people. I ask you the know it. The fans. It's know like. <laughs> maybe. Eight assholes. And how many girls you said there? Ten. Ten. Oh, really? yeah. So two of them were like, no. I, yeah, uh, there's this black chick I used to fuck with. I was not going near her asshole. Why? Because she was just a little hood rat when I was young. <laughs> fuck that. And uh, just like, uh, Wait a minute, the first uh, I'm in it for myself, girl. Yeah, I remember that. I'm not going to lick her asshole. I clearly Wait a minute, the first ever girl you fucked. Clearly. I licked her asshole. Oh, I licked her asshole. I don't know for sure. I'm not answering that question. Because <laughs> I know, I know then I gotta answer my age too. Like, if I say 13, I sound like a weirdo and so I say I was 12. Then I, maybe I still sound like a weirdo. <laughs> but at mean, least I'm not a perverted. She looked at her. You don't mind your looking girls also when you were 12. It was there. <laughs> it was I was there. I was hanging in the, in the South Pole. I forgot to go up to the North Pole too. I don't think that's not gonna a, do one without the other. I, I don't think that's a requirement. That's just like a general need. She was into it. She was fifteen. Yeah, she was mature for age. <laughs> but she was forty in a half. Fifteen, maybe. <laughs> oh, oh my! Hey. lick my shitter. I did. I did. I certainly did. She was. Uh, she was also half black. Starting off strong. She's high as shit though. How many white girls have she? <laughs> One. Yeah. Right. How many white girls you find? Just white skin or like no, American? Just, um, <laughs> no, no, just like white. Just white skin. Yeah. What? What skin? Uh, three, I guess. All of them. All of yeah, them. all of them. Yeah. You don't even find three girls. Yeah. When did you lose your virginity? Were so, they? 2008. How old were you? 16? 19. 19? Was that why you were in a relationship then? Yeah, I was already in a relationship by then. Was it a big thing for you that you wouldn't do it until you were in a relationship? No. Or you just felt that you connected with this one more, so you felt that you not could do it, but... Uh, just felt that way. <laughs> no. Like, it just felt that That's way. That's fucking good, because you got this... Weird man over there that was licking assholes at twelve. I certainly was. The first girl, licking the shit first out girl of I licked the asshole. The second girl I did not. Oh god. Actually, I'm putting my number down to seven assholes licked. There's other. I did, definitely did not lick her asshole. Yeah. Why didn't you lick her asshole? Cause it was just a quick thing at my house. Like I had the house to myself for like an hour after school, and I was like, "Yo, come over after school." She did. She didn't think I could lick her ass on an hour? It did, I could, but it wasn't worth the effort, and she wasn't that attractive, and I knew it was going to be a one-time thing. I but was she gonna, had a butthole, bro. She did, but... So you get licked, then. I could have, but... You didn't. I, I, I didn't even go down on her, so I didn't have the opportunity. I didn't want to. No, I... I just, right after a whole day of school, I was just there for her to put her mouth on it and then sit on it. <laughs> and she did. It was awesome. I was man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I slept with twelve girls, and not one of them has ever asked me to go to the last. Sorry, right? No, that's a fucking lie. <laughs> Goddamn right, brother. <laughs> one, of, one of them, I t- sounds like a keeper. One of them, the girl before my girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, depending on what happens tonight, was she allowed me to like finger her or something. Yeah. Please. No, I've Boom. never done it. I've Boom. never done it ever again. Same girl, the 13 year old. Fucked her in the ass too. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Never fucked a girl in the ass. I didn't. I won't do it. 
I didn't enjoy you it. You fucked Cody Ross. Yeah, I lost my virginity doing anal. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. Yeah, I'm a fucking man. Say <laughs> liar. I lost my virginity doing anal. How could... Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back. Did yeah. I not mention she was nuts? <laughs> Is that Tara Calloway? Yeah. She's in the area. That's weird. Yeah, she, she says, fuck her in the she says any shows in Pennsylvania this weekend that look interesting. We reply with PKM. <laughs> so she's she's coming on an asshole eating quest. <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh, you lost your name, you saw Kevin. Why did she say fuck me in the asshole before Yo. a pussy? Uh-huh. Would you let a girl lick your asshole or no? For real, would you? I, I'd have to be married to her. Would you? I have no idea. It's never there's a certain, there's like a certain, a there's a certain you, friend like... of mine. I'm not gonna put his name on camera unless he wants to. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. Uh, he said he's been sitting on his girlfriend's face. She eats his asshole and he jerks off, and it's awesome. Who is it? I can't say. No, no. Okay. He'll, he'll like, he'll totally tell you, but I'll, let, I'll let him tell you. What? We'll, we'll, we'll bleep it out. Correct, uh, Tim. When he says it, bleep it out. For real, do it. Okay. It's Sellers. <laughs> yeah. Sellers, Sellers and Sarah. Okay. So double bleep. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. No, it makes me feel uncomfortable. That <laughs> really makes me feel uncomfortable. Sitting there with a moist tongue up your ass. I'm into it. While you're sitting again. Oh no, no, that makes me feel sick. I'd do it, I think. No, you. What? Really? You're sitting. It's more. That's the part. On that girl's that's face. That's okay. I'm more. I'm. I'm totally down to let a girl eat my ass. I just don't want to be in a vulnerable position. What do you mean? Like I don't want to be person? bent over on all fours. I don't want to feel dominated. I just want to have her do it. So like, I don't know. So you kind of sitting on her face would be like, hey, just so you know, bloop. <laughs> have you got like a rule where the girl has to have a shower beforehand? You have to see a. Like um, also. You really gotta hope for the best. At the same time, though, you have to really. I assume that the girls I'm fucking with don't have shitty asses. Right, yeah, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. You ever dealt with shitty ass? No, actually, I don't think no. I have. Never. I've gotten lucky at it. That's, right. that's, why, that's why it's seven and not ten out of all of them, because it's like. Fair you gotta know the ones not to. Fair of them might have shitty asses. They might have had shitty asses. Did, did Tara Kellaway have shitty asses? Oh, good question. Yeah. She had shit ass sometimes? Damn. <laughs> she had that brown toe. <coughs> Shouldn't that ever put you off? What? Didn't that ever put you off? You had shit on your dick. Oh, for that? No, not for me. No. You know what truffle butter is? You know what no. truffle butter is. Does anyone know what truffle butter is? I don't know what truffle butter is. You want to know what truffle butter is? Yes, yes. Sarah taught me what truffle butter is. Yeah, Sarah. It's, when, it's when you're fucking a girl in the ass, right? Okay. And you pull it out and start fucking her in, like, the twat. And the combination of shit and cum, that liquid oh. is truffle butter. Oh. Truffle, oh. truffle butter, yeah. <laughs> that's so good. Nah, that's man, awesome. that's awesome. That's a sign of a job. Well done. Was she was in the truffle butter. Who did she wrestle with, man? Who's what? What's she wrestling with right now? Is she wrestling with now? Yeah. I have no idea. Do you have a phone number? No. Tell me to ring. No, I don't have <laughs> Sam a Sam wants to call someone, so... Uh, oh, well, I can someone just give me the number. fucking phone so I can call someone? <laughs> I need the... On the I, I need the... Anyone, Sam. So. Right, you're, just give me a phone. a shoot. My phone's dead, remember? Oh, fuck off it. It's your charge, isn't it? <laughs> well, slowly coming back to <laughs> Well, life. I don't care. I'm going to go to your phone and find someone to call. The call Killer K. Mmm. Can I call Killer K? You won't hear it on the, on the show. I don't care. I'll be talking to Killer Kai. They'll, they'll understand I'm talking to Killer Kai. I'll, I'll call Killer Kai. <laughs> well, happily. Him. Oh, you can call his number. I do have Chris Moore's number. Yeah. I'll fucking call him. <laughs> and I, then I don't know Killer if he'd Kai. be awake right now. Killer Kai will be awake right now. Sounds man. That, that no, chance. let's talk about McDonald's. What? Let's we'll talk about McDonald's. Let's <laughs> <laughs> talk about McDonald's. I can tell us what I'm talking about. It's like a I couldn't actually know if I could. Yeah, you're right. Um, but yeah. I don't know what to say anymore. I just make shit. Aww. Oh. Well, what? Um, we need one more question to end this whole thing because I feel like I'm done doing this. 
Um, girl, you'd most like to fucking yell at him. Wait, what? The girl that comes to shows that I'd most like to fuck? Yep. Queen Joey. <laughs> I'd like to give her the business. What's Queen Joey? Uh, so she's uh, one of two twins at 3BW. She all as Yeah. I mean, I guess. No, don't be diplomatic about it. Like, it's not my, my style, but... It's not your style? Yeah. But you would. Sure. I certainly would. Juliet, would you set my face? Oh, you joking? <laughs> yeah. Do me old tongue lapping. Slurp, slurp. Slurp, slurp. <laughs> uh, uh, so, that, so both of you have got the same answer. Right? you got someone... Yeah, I mean, there's nobody else, really. It's <laughs> like, who else? Queen yeah. Joe. Who else I'm begging to fuck? Queen Joe. <laughs> yeah. Have you got a PKM? That's shit then, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Certainly is. And Missy for old school sake. Never got that chance. Mm, almost. Uh, so thanks, close. Johnny Boy. <laughs> Johnny Boy, you ruined it. Yeah, dude. Never gonna live it down. But yeah. I know. Uh, whoever the fuck Showtime was dating that one time. That oh, blonde haired chick. Diana? Oh, the other one. That one. Is that the one we saw? The one that the Don did the pose in front of? Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, she was Is that the other one we saw about? Yeah, that was the other one we were talking about. The one I met. No, we were talking about Bless's girlfriend. Oh. Or, uh, Marky's ex-girlfriend. Yeah. She her? Yeah. Bleep, yeah, bleep this part out, too. Okay. Bless's ex-girlfriend was the girl from the threesome. It was supposed to be me, the girl I showed yeah, you. Yeah, I knew that! You said yeah, in the car! Yeah, 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 yeah. And the girl I showed you the nudes of earlier? Yeah. It was supposed to be them. <laughs> we were supposed to do it the day, uh, the day before I left for vacation. Alright, back in. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. So anyway, that was Sam Jude's tea party, and uh, I wish I was drinking tea right now, because I wouldn't feel like shit. But, yeah, these four logos are awful. These four logos fuck shit up. Pretty high, actually. And he's hot. Dan's just hot on the essence of life. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this travel, this journey. I don't know what to say after that. It's a joke. This really did go downhill quick. Uh, yeah, it did. It started off. If pretty... you if you watch at the start of this, yo, you're the gonna watch this, the like the slow decline of Sandra. Yeah, yeah, you went down. I'm quick. really sorry, everyone. You and if my mum ever watches this, I don't even watch porn. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> the weird mom. stuff. Yeah, mum, I I don't sorry, watch porn. Mom. I'm really sorry, but I'm yeah. Not. With that disclaimer and. On that. Here we go, some good ones. Oh god, the yobs. Um, but on that bombshell, as Jeremy Clarkson may say. You have to do it. There we are. On that bombshell, good night. And stay British. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Blah, 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 like 11.30 maybe? He's that shot. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into work in like six hours. Yeah, I'll finish pulling a wrap, bro.